All right, so today we're going to be doing a DRG, which stands for dorsal root ganglion trial. Um, it's a variant of spinal cord stimulation, but it's very much geared towards a specific nerve root. In this case, the patient has um, bilateral S1 um, neuropathy we're trying to cover um, in the soles of her feet. All right, so we just placed the needle. Um, this is in the S1 foramen and we're just going to confirm how anterior we are uh, within the sacrum by performing a lateral view. So let's do that if we can, please, to know. All right, we now we're ready to insert the lead. This is very different, as you can tell, from a traditional spinal cord stimulator lead. It has some curvature to the end of it. It's very kind of thin and flimsy. Um, it has the sheath inside as well as having a port that you could put uh, medications in to kind of lubricate the lead as well. And we're just going to begin inserting that. Take a couple shots here. Picture. Still pretty good. Yeah. Picture. Tingling there? How about now? Any simulation? Now, are you feeling that? Is that your foot? In your left foot? Left side? Feel that in your left foot underneath on the bottom there? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So we just concluded. Uh, testing on the left side, we were able to place the DRG lead, and we see that this is the connection device, so we could undergo the actual testing. And then, That's I hate slow and <coughs> slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady huh? wins the race every time with DRG. The tortoise or the hare can pull the sheath back and feed the lead. Just able to do a little bit picture. 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 All in the Picture. It's okay. So you can see here the end result where we have on the lateral view both leads um, contacting that S1 nerve root on both sides. You can see that part of the lead has electrodes anteriorly as well as posteriorly for both. And then if we flip to the AP view, we can see that those little foramina kind of right here and right here um, are the locations that house the actual electrodes as well. So overall, we did a good job. The patient had relief um, in both the bottoms of her feet and she should have a successful trial.